Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the interview question. What is the purpose of using constructors in Java? So what is the purpose of using constructors in Java? Guys? A straightforward answer for this question is the purpose of constructor in Java, constructors in Java is to initialize the objects of a class. Okay. The purpose of the constructors in Java is to initialize. Okay, initialize the objects of a class, object of a class. Okay, so to add more points to this answer, this is a very straightforward answer, right? The purpose of constructors is to initialize objects of a class. Okay, that's a very straightforward constructors, the straightforward answer for this question. So you can even add more points uh, to that answer, stating that constructors will be automatically called during objects creation. When you create an object, how do you create an object, guys? Class name, some uh, variable name, let's say class name C is equal to new class name. Okay, that is a statement for the object creation. New class name will create an object there. Okay, while the time of creating the object, the constructor will be automatically called. Okay, the constructor of that particular class will be automatically called during the object creation. And there are two types of constructors. In Java, they are default constructors, and other one is the parameterized constructors. For default constructors, you will not pass any values during the object creation statements. Okay, for the default constructors, you will not be passing any values uh, during the object creation. The constructor will be empty. For example, class name some x is equal to new class name in the circular brackets, there will be nothing passed. Okay, it will be empty. That is default constructors. Coming to parameterized constructors, parameterized constructors. So for parameterized constructors, you need to pass the values. For example, there may be a constructor with the parameters. Okay, one or two parameters may be available. In that case, while creating the object creation statement, you need to even pass the values along with the object creation. In the constructor, you should pass the values. I will show them, guys. I will show all these things practically to you now. But at a high level, to answer this particular question, you need to mention that the purpose of the constructors is to initialize the objects of a class. Okay, initialize the objects of a class. You have to mention along with that, if to add more value to your answer, you can start explaining all this stuff like constructor will be automatic or during object creation. And there are two types of constructors that is default constructors and parameterized constructors. And even if you have more things to contribute you can even practically you can ask a paper from him and then um, practically write the code and explain like what exactly constructors how they initialize the objects and all those stuff you can explain with an example let me give that example for you guys uh, rightly here let me create a new class known as employees class okay this employees class i'm taking as an example here in this examples in this employees class i will be creating a constructor Okay, I'll be creating a constructor. Constructor public employees. The same constructor will have the same name as the class name. Okay, and they will not have any return type. Return type will not be there. Void or uh, int or nothing will not be there. Okay, public employees. Straightforward. This, like uh, for example, here int uh, name. Sorry, string name name fine now here i will create a main method this is a constructor guys this is a constructor this is a class okay the class name is equal to the constructor name so that's why this becomes a constructor and inside the same class itself for demonstration purpose i am creating a main method public static void main So when this particular constructor will be called, when this particular employees constructor will be called, the, this particular constructor will be called when you create an object for this employees class. When you create an object for this employees class, then this particular constructor will be called, okay? So here is the main method. When you execute this class, main method will be executed first, right? So automatically executed. So here I will try to create an object for this employees class so that this line will be executed and employees constructor will be called automatically during the object creation statement for employees class. So how to create an object for the employees class? 
employees e is equal to new employees right, straight like this this is the object creation statement guys while creating the object okay here new employees is the object creation new will create an ob object for this employees as while new is creating an object for this employees employees constructor this is nothing but the employees constructor employees constructor will be automatically called okay automatically called now here i can say name is equal to name is equal to you can give any name guys here okay name is equal to let's say i will give my name arun motori okay system dot out dot print talent okay i'm just printing my name so if this constructor is called okay this this constructor is called if this constructor is called that means this particular object is initialized okay we have given some name for this particular object e e has some name okay this is a object name and system dot 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 print ln and just printing the name so if this constructor is called while creating the object this met, this constructor will be called and this will be printed in my output okay just to confirm that just to confirm that let me run this code right click run as java application just have run this code you see my name got printed in the output that means this particular constructor is called while i will i will like create object for this class okay when i created object for this class this employees constructor is automatically called and this statements got executed inside the statements and this constructor is nothing but a default constructor guys this constructor is nothing but a default constructor because it doesn't have any parameters here you see it is an empty no parameter list is available okay now i'll try to explain the second type of constructor that is parameterized constructor that is public again i will say public and i will again i will give the same name which is a class name and in the parameters i'll give this is a duplicate now right this employees is duplicate of this employee this employee is duplicate of this employee's construct so to differentiate that i will give something like string name comma int age you can give as many number of uh, parameters as you want okay fine now i will say here also i will say int age okay string n int a okay like something like this here i will give string name int a here i am giving string n int a now now what i will do is whenever this constructor is called okay i will say i will initialize the object guys i will initialize the object i want to initialize the object with this values name is equal to n and this age is equal to the password value that is a okay here i will print out name and here i will print out h now when i run this code do you think that this particular constructor will be executed no guys when i when i run this in the main method this particular object will be created but here this will not call the parameterized con this is a parameterized constructor guys this is empty constructor okay default constructor this will only call the default constructor and still you will see arun motori printed in my output you can see that okay let me run it and show you it will not call the parameterized constructor you see normal constructor is only called if it has called a parameterized constructor along with name age would have also get printed but it's not printed so how to call this how to call this parameterized constructor so here while creating the object here i need to pass the values arguments for this parameterized constructor first argument is i have to pass my name i am passing my name arun motori uh, comma the age uh, age also i need to pass okay let me pass some 25 okay save it run this program right click run as java application you see 
now the parameterized constructor is called along with name and edge right name and edge both got printed this is how you can initialize the objects with the help of constructors in java and at same time you can call the default or parameterized constructors in java so if you can explain all this stuff guys then the interviewer will feel that you know a lot about constructors and he'll be very confident with your answer so that's it guys thank you bye